Uh, this question is from 2017, October, November, paper 13, and the question number is 37. It says that there are three identical cells. You can see from the diagram here. One cell is this, another is this, and another one is this. Each of them have the electromotive force uh, EMF for E, and each of them have a negligible internal resistances. They are connected to three identical resistors. You can see here R, R, and R, which is each of the resistances R as shown. So we have to find the potential difference between points P and Q. Before that, let us uh, uh, remember that this E and this E are trying to flow the positive charges in clockwise direction like this. But this E is trying to flow charges in anti-clockwise direction like this. So because of the effort of these two, these two win and the overall, in overall, the charge will be flowing in clockwise direction. So the total EMF will be 2E, which is the sum of this and this, minus the EMF of this. So 2E minus E equal to E. The total PD here is will be equal to the current I into the series arrangement of these three resistors, R plus R plus R, which gives us I into 3R. From Kurzweil's law, we have E total equal to the total potential difference. So E is equal to I into 3R and I is equal to E by 3R. So since we have to find the potential difference across VPQ, we can rearrange the whole circuit like this. This E stands for this, this R stands for this, R stands for this and uh, across the terminal VPQ, we have converted the whole of this thing into a simple source of potential difference here. So VPQ is the PD over here. Now if I apply Kurzweil's law once again, the sum of PD here plus the sum of PD here will be equal to the EMF. So the PD here is VPQ and the PD here is I into R. So VPQ plus IR is equal to E. So this gives me VPQ equal to E minus I into R, which gives me E minus, when I use the value of I from I from this side, it will be E by 3R into R, and the whole thing will be, when I do LCM and everything stuff over there, it will be 2E by 3. So the choice for this, the correct choice for this question will be 2E by 3, which is...